before I cut any more of this out, uh, what I'm going to do is I've got my replacement panel that I cut off the other car. I'm going to unpick each layer of of the steel panels, and then what I'll do is I'm going to put cut that one off, all the rusted areas, and layer by layer I'll just weld on what I need, and hopefully that all goes to plan. Now it's getting scary. I'll cut all that bit out, which is on the floor down there. As you can see, it's rusted inside. And you can see here, the higher up it goes, the rust gets better. This steel's pretty good here. So I'm going to take that inner layer to here, and the outer layer I'm going to take it off there. All I'm going to do now is peel off this skin. Just keep peeling that. And then I'm going to try and make uh, this bit here fit. So I'll just keep cleaning it up and then I'll see how it this goes. This is just about where I want it to be. And now I'm going to run the grinder straight across there. And straight across here and then hopefully it should sit exactly where I want it to be and then I can weld it in. It's taken a little bit of mucking around but I'm pretty happy with how it's sitting at the moment. It sits pretty good. Um, all I've got to do now I'm just going to take it back off, clean everything up, take all the paint off, get it ready for welding and then weld it in. It looks like I'm going to have to do the same thing on the other side. Um, but before I do, I was thinking I might at least tack this side back in. Because I'm starting to get too much steel taken off and really the only thing holding it together is this front panel here. Otherwise, it might start stretching out of shape. Um, I've measured, I've put the tape measure from, from pillar to pillar and it hasn't moved. So that's a good thing. But just before anything does start to move, I might weld this bit back in, or tack it in, uh, before I attack the other side a little bit more. I just got two more pairs of these plug weld pliers delivered, and if you, anyone doesn't know what they are, basically if you want to weld two bits together in a plug weld, because um, it's got a copper bottom, it doesn't burn through, so if we're going to join two bits of metal, which I'm going to have to do over here, basically when I put this in, I put that on, clamp the metal together and you can weld away without any fear of blowing straight through. Um, my first pair of these I bought from America, but these these guys here, Metal Man Tools in Shepparton, they stock them so if anybody wants any, that's a good place to look for them. I've got this little piece that I'm about to cut and put it in there. I'm just going to take that back channel out of it, clean it up, weld these holes up, and then I can put it in. I haven't done much for a while, but um, I was waiting until I got a new welder, and I went and got this one here, which seems to be welding pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, and for about 700 bucks or 600 bucks, I think it was, um, to me it's a bargain. That's beautiful. And so now I'm just getting back to where I left off. And I've got this bit ready, almost ready to put in. And it's been a bastard to try and line up. One end lines up and the other end won't. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I've, I've nearly got it right. I'm thinking I'm going to weld the back on and then just manipulate this bit and tack it until it sits right. So I'll give that a go and see how see what happens. It's not the prettiest thing I've ever seen, but it's on. All I've got to do now is grind it, and then I can attack the other side. Now that that side's in, and then uh, before I clean it up, I'm going to get the other side in. That's how much I've had to cut off. And I've got the 
spare panel which I'm just about to unpick. And we'll cut it somewhere around there. And then fit it just like the other one. When I've got bits I don't need that are spot welded on, I usually just get the pliers and twist them and um, just rip it off. You can hear spot welds breaking. Just keep going, it's a bit hard with one hand, but just keep going like that until it comes off. I've stripped it down to this so far. And well, I was going to butt weld it straight on, but um, then I just cut this little piece off it. Weld onto this because this is the inner panel that holds the door or the, the hinge anyway. So I weld that on so it's got extra strength, and then just put this little piece back on. After a fair bit of mucking around, I've just about got it right. Like that. And what I'm going to do now is just screw these two bits together and run the angle grinder through it and hopefully that will give me a nice line to weld to. I've drawn a line and I'm going to run the angle grinder straight through this one and then just around the sides and what it is is what it is and that's where I'll weld it. I've got that inner piece all welded on. I'm not going to grind it anything yet. What I'll do, I'll just work my way around, tack in all the corners, make sure everything lines up. And then when I've got everything lined up, I'll weld everything in proper. The main thing I wanted to make sure I had fixed in was this bit. Uh, and the rest I'll just move to, to suit. I started tacking this in. And I'm just slowly lining it up. Tacking it, lining it up, tacking it as I go. Before I get too far into it, I want to get the dash in and make sure that fits all right. Um, so I just give it a light sandblast, and I've got a little bit of a rust hole there, which I'm going to plug up with the oxy now, and then hopefully I can fit it in. Just before I try fit the dash, I'm just going to fix up these bits where I drilled too deep, plug all these holes up. I'll get rid of them, and then I'll fit, try and fit the dash in. I measured it the same as this one and it all it seems to sit almost exactly the same um, so I think I got it right and now I'll try and weld it in that's one coat of the KBS product and put a coat on that too I'll just let them dry for another 10-15 minutes and then I'll put second coat on and I can put this top back on. I've got KBS in here, weld through primer around the edges so now finally I can weld the top on. That's on. Now I'll have to unpick all this and get another front end put on the car. Finally the LX front's on. I've just got to clean up some welds a little bit, uh, but otherwise it's on, it fits. Uh, finally, I'm just so happy that's all done now. The pillars are in. See there, the dash is in. So pretty much the whole front of the car now is done and dusted. And now it's on to the back of the car. I've got two new quarters that have to go on. 
I'll just set one up there to see how it'll look. So I've got to get them in. Um, good friend of mine, Greg Tirana, on Facebook. If you check out his page, he makes some grouse Tirana parts. He gave me these taillight buckets. They'll also be going in. I'll have to cut them to line up with the rear quarters. But um, he designs them so they can, so it's got plenty of steel on it and you can replace whatever's needed and you just cut back whatever you don't need. Uh, also, finally the 308's arrived. It's balanced, fully rebuilt, flat top pistons, etc. Um, I just gotta paint that and then that can go straight into the black car and then we can get into that and hopefully it, in the next six months get that on the road.